Which duo would you rather have? Kawhi and Paul George or Steph and Clay? Respect to Steph and Clay. It's not a hard decision for me, Kawhi and Paul George. The, you know what is better? The only thing in the NBA, in the history of the end, modern NBA, better than a two-way wing? What? Two two-way wings. Mm. That's the only thing better than a two-way wing. Like, as much as people are telling you it's a point guard league, it's a stretch four league, well, since, no, that's not what wins. Even the Warriors were not invincible. They won against a depleted LeBron team. Then they lost when they should have won to a LeBron team. That was before KD came. Then they added what? A two-way wing, and they were unbeatable. And as a matter of fact, Iguodala was really the two-way wing, just not on the same level originally. You need that guy in the NBA, in the modern NBA history. The greatest pair of all time, Jordan and Pippen, six for six in the finals. Two two-way wings. Now, I'm not saying Kawhi and Paul George are Jordan and Pippen. I'm not saying Paul George is to two guards or, or small forwards, what Clay Thompson is as a pure shooter, right? But both those guys can do so many things. They can guard multiple positions. They can shoot from the outside. They can take it to the rack. They can get their own shot. When you have two two-way wings, it's the best thing you can have, and that's what the Clippers have. I completely and totally disagree with you. I love Kawhi Leonard. Paul George is my man. They're both phenomenal players. I'm not worried about Paul George one big come playoff time. He'll show up. He's a big time talent. But Steph and Klay Thompson, and I, as I have said on many occasions, is the greatest shooting backcourt yep. in the history of basketball. These dudes are sniping. You could call them sniper extraordinaires. They're snipers of another level, of another dimension. We ain't seen nothing like this. Now, re revealing my age, I go back to the days, bro, of downtown Freddie Brown in Seattle. You understand me? Dale Ellis, Ricky Pierce. This is before Bird and these boys. You understand what I'm saying? The Ray Allens and Reggie Millers and cats like that came later. Clay Thompson. And Steph Curry, you know Clay Thompson's a career 42% shooter from three-point range? 41.9% to be exact. You know that Steph Curry is a career 43.5% shooter from three-point range? Uh, these are, listen, and now if this, not to, to throw this out there, Max, if this were the 80s or the early 90s or something like that, different ball game. I'm going with Clay. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going with Kawhi and Paul George. In this era? As soft as this game is called now, where you can you can sit up there, you, you can get called for technical for passing gas. I mean, get, I don't want to hear that. The, the, this, it's a different day. And when you look at these brothers, there's shots from the perimeter anywhere. There's shots from the free throw line. And I will remind everybody, you got to get into an office, and as great as Kawhi Leonard is, you know what makes Kawhi great? I watched Kawhi the other day catch a pass. I mean, he caught, he caught it running to his right, and his body was this way. And somehow he was able to catch and square up all in one motion and hit the shot. It's beautiful. But he has to get to his spots. There is no spot for Clay. There is no better. spot. There is they no spot. Better. There is no spot for Steph Curry. Max, the second they walk past half court, there is no player, no two players in the history of basketball that can say this other than them two. The second they, run, they walk past half court, they're a, threat. they're a threat. You literally have to extend your defense 10 feet to guard them. There is nothing to discuss. These two right here, Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, the greatest shooting backcourt in the and if history that was the question, of basketball. You'd be right. They shoot better for sure. It's a tough call right here because obviously uh, Clay and Steph have a few years on Paul and, and Kawhi, but Clay and Steph have proven on the biggest stage that they can do it. And this is a different game. So it's not so much athleticism and strength and being able to get down the paint. This is just being able to, you know, it, it, it's a run and gun game. You know what I mean? So as people get older, their athleticism declines. Steph and Clay aren't necessarily worried about that because. As they get older, their, their, their shot continues to improve, and it, it's hard to say how much more can it improve. But these guys, like you said, stepping past half court are in their range. So I would take Clay and Steph they over those two. They certainly shoot better. There's no question they shoot better, and they're great. They but have shooting proven. That, that but, shooting but has got them championships. Number one, Paul George and Kawhi also shoot it well. Not like on that level, but they shoot it well. If they couldn't shoot, that would be one thing. I don't even think but they're they in the can same shoot, category shoot, as shooting, but, though. But they can take a mid-range. They can shoot a three. They're not they can in the shoot same stratosphere. Throws. I'm not arguing that. That's your argument. I'm saying they can shoot. That's checked off. The other dudes shoot better than anyone ever. I agree with that. But there's a whole, like, there's a lot more to the game. 
Steph and Clay need more mm -hmm. to be considered tight. Like, you have those two. You still need a Draymond Green, a Swiss Army knife mm -hmm. pick-and-roll partner who can defend and allow you to play – play five out and all that. And if you have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, you don't need anyone else special. You can just fill in the gaps. Look at the Clippers this year. Mm -hmm. Just fill in the gaps. You're a title uh, contender. Uh, um, let me try this one more time. Which I'm going to try to explain. You see, Max Kellerman, when you get on the court against somebody that are snipers like that, all those things you just said go out the window. Watch Kawhi or Paul George play against LeBron. Watch them play against Russell or James Harden. Watch them play against Joel Embiid or the Greek figure or whatever. And then watch them play against Steph and Clay. It's a different it's a different dimension. You know why? Because all of a sudden, when I talk about palms getting sweaty and backsides getting tight, you nervous as hell. Why? Because you miss a shot. It can cost you. Because they're marksmen. There are guys that are great that get compromised by the greatness of others, albeit on one end of the floor. It can affect your defense. It can make you tight offensively because you can't afford to miss because they won't miss. Yeah, but you can't afford to. In other words, they, they have that look, kind of you effect gotta on you. you got to hide Steph on defense. You want to try to make Clay put the ball on the floor. Not that he can't, but that's not what you want to do if you're the worst. What are you going to do to Paul George and Kawhi Leonard? Like, what, you, you know, you want, you're going to hide them? No, they're, they're the, you want to keep, as a matter of fact, the Lakers just beat the Clippers, keeping Kawhi and Paul George, their defense kind of out of the game, go to whoever they're not guarding. So there are two sides to the floor, but even just on the offensive end, the, the two-way wing player, the wing player who's a threat from the line, who's a threat, uh, you know, uh, taking a, a, a three-point shot, who's a threat in the mid-range game, where's the weakness? Yeah. And who's also a willing passer? I would say the only thing that makes this close for me is not even on the offensive side, it's the defensive side. Because both those guys can guard anybody, yes. anytime, any place. So that's what makes the comparison close. But, we're, I mean, this is a game of offense today, and we're always looking at offense and raving about offense. And it comes to offense, having to chase those guys around screens. But Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.